The traditional ceremony is one of reflection. It recalls the sacrifice of the military and civil service men and women who would have fallen during the World Wars of 1914 to 1918 and 1939 to 1945. Governor General Deputy Sir Clare Roberts laid the first wreath, followed by Acting Prime Minister Stedroy Q.T. Benjamin. They were followed, as dictated by tradition, by members of the Diplomatic Corps and other uniformed bodies and groups to include members of the Ex-Servicemen Association. Prayers are said and the mood is kept somber by the various elements that are key features of the ceremony, to include the bugler sounding the last post, which is usually played at military funerals. As four centuries keep guard, there is a two-minute silence, a pause to recall that day in 1918 when guns fell silent, signaling the armistice between the conflicting sides in the First World War. World War I was fought by the Allied forces of Great Britain, France, the United States and Russia against Germany and Austria-Hungary. World War II brought most of the major nations of the world into conflict. Millions of lives were lost. After the ceremony, the military and police set off to march past the Governor General and in a further tribute, give an eyes left to the members of the Ex-Servicemen Association. Andy Lybird, reporting for ABS News.